spike? Are they thick? Uh, is there a wall that comes up over the outside of the structure? How, you know, how, how do they construct these things? That stuff's really interesting to me. Um, is, this, is the structure above ground or is it in ground? Like if I'm uh, I believe a, a swimming pool, I'm thinking above ground swimming pool or below ground swimming pool? Oh, oh below. I okay. say below ground. So, no, fair enough, fair enough. You realize that you're in this pool. I mean, it's mass chaos. You're not checking out, finding an above-ground pool, man. I'm, I'm sure that's right. the first thing on your mind. So, sure. um, so uh, from here, well, I, I take tell you it was black. Like, What's that? I, said, I, could tell you, I could tell you it was deep and big. It was deep, and what was the last word? Deep and big. Big round. It was huge. Big, big enough to hold uh, mass quantities or something. Uh, this is, uh, and uh, I haven't filled in, uh, I suppose, the audience on the gel, but the gel, um, which which will come up here, uh, is what's inside of this pool that when Ricky's saying the gel. Um, but we'll get into that. From here, I uh, take it uh, you blacked out because the next thing uh, you described as being uh, woken by other humans screaming inside this pool or in the gel. Uh, you noticed you were naked and in this V-shaped structure or pool. Uh, filled with what you described as a sort of thin gel. I'm thinking kind of like hand sanitizer. If you can think of something else, uh, throw it at us. But that is, um, but in, instead, it's something that's breathable. You say 15 or so other humans are here uh, with you. Um, some under the gel. Uh, some trying to escape. E escape. Uh, this is where you must have uh, figured this stuff is breathable because the ones under the gel uh, don't die. They continue to move. Uh, so you have right. your head above gel. I'm starting to wonder uh, what you're breathing uh, in two parts of the story, I suppose. Actually, one, while you're on the ship, uh, you're, you're taken off out of the atmosphere. I'm wondering, do you, do you, are they, did they fit you with a respirator? Do these aliens breathe oxygen is something I can assume if they're not wearing uh, respirators. Um, also, the other part, I suppose, is in the pool. Uh, is there a dome overhead that's keeping oxygen in? What are you breathing when your head's above above the gel? Um, so those two areas. Uh, um, what do you think about that? Um, I know I was breathing oxygen, whatever I'm breathing right now. Right. And I look at it this way: if you can accept the fact that they they took me from Earth to the moon. They sure in the heck got the technology to to put a breathable base on there. That's why I really can't explain it, what they did or how they did it. But it was some kind of building, and inside I could breathe. Did uh, did it have a cover, or when you looked up, did you see right out in the space? Was it an was it an outdoor no. pool? Or was it an indoor pool? No, their 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 roofs or ceilings or whatever are pretty much so high you can't even see. I couldn't see. Okay, so it's really this huge structure. Uh, maybe the V-shaped right. building, would you say maybe the V-shaped pool is not the only structure in this huge building or what have you? Oh, no way. Yeah, that's just one okay. place that, you know, just that? think this place, just think this place where they took me wasn't for us. So them just having this little holding place for us, you know, I'm sure there was a lot of other things there. That's just my uh, opinion. Okay. Uh, so that builds a little better uh, uh, something in my mind as to how that was possible or, or what's going on or actually even adding to right. the structure of the base for me. There's this huge structure. Um, that obviously explains where the oxygen can come in. They, they know what they're doing. You're right. At this point, I'm assuming, though, that uh, you're in, 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 act, in, in contact with these beings uh, in the same room at times, and they're not wearing respirators. So I'm almost thinking, hey, they, they breathe o oxygen. You know, we call them our brothers from right. above, as some do, and things like that. Maybe, right. you know, being their ancestors or what have you, I, I think, you know, that, that's completely plausible that they, they, uh, they breathe oxygen, and, too. And and that's kind of a good point not to throw it off from a lot, but there's a lot of people out there that are worried about all these other beings coming here. Not all of them can survive here. Do you know what I mean? They can, it's, it, yeah. it's just like us. It's just like us visiting the bottom of the ocean. We're sure not staying there permanently. We're just right. going to stay there as long as we can survive, and then we got to come back up. So people are really worried about a lot of beings that aren't, can't even survive here about taking this world over. There's, it'd be just like us going down and messing with uh, 
a certain kind of a species of fish all the time. It's not logical. It's not logical that they're not doing anything for us. Why are we going to go take over the bottom of the ocean when we can't even survive there? Well, with Hollywood movies like War of the Worlds coming out from under the earth and uh, other uh, theories such as underground bases and the deep oceans and things, we, we know just about as much as we do in, in an ocean as we do about planets outside, you know, and what have you. So, um, you know, I think there is still an unknown factor here and, you know, do they... Can they breathe? Right, right. Can they stick over here or something? But anyway, so to move on from that point, another interesting thing right. is that the alien, uh, the aliens uh, being, the alien being uh, communicating with you uh, while in the pool. The aliens were communicating with you while in the pool. Uh, were they present, or were these messages you received in your mind without even seeing these beings? Were they right. maybe far off? Do you think? No. Again, at this point, I still didn't know I was using telepathy. The next stage okay. is where I realized that. So at this time. I thought they were, I thought they were on the edge of the pools yelling this stuff to me, because I didn't see them. I just thought they were saying, okay. "Hey, go, you know." You can't see them, but you you can know what they're saying. So maybe there was a moment right. there as far as, uh, man, I'm hearing this, but I don't see them. So they must be just outside of where I can see, sort of deal. Right, so but I could them. hear, but I could hear the people screaming, the human people. Okay. Uh, so, so the other humans are screaming, and that's what woke you up, too. Uh, so here they, uh, they stated to you to breathe in the gel. Uh, you resist multiple times, wondering uh, what would happen once your lungs filled with the gel. Finally, they blacked you out, and I would assume that at that point they put you under the gel and, and got their wish, uh, per se, or what have you, because even though you're blacking out, you're, you're still breathing, or, or you wouldn't be here today, I would, I would assume. Uh, what do you think uh, the significance of this was? Do you feel that there was some sort of init initiation or some sort of need for you to have that gel in your body or, or something to maybe comprehend what was going on or to be a part of this situation? Was there significance to the gel in that sense, or did they just want you to see what the gel was? I, what was I, your sense? No, this, I, I know that you may yeah. not be able to know that. Right, right. Just that's the main thing I want to make clear. This isn't what I know. This is just kind of what I think. Being I went through it, I think it's a couple of things. I think it's some kind of cleanser for us, where uh, 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 maybe we can give them something or something immediate. You know, maybe we breathe in the last hour or whatever that we can give them because it cleans us literally inside and out. Okay. So I, it, I, I believe it's something maybe would take us to the to take us to the next stage. So maybe like a decontaminant to allow you to enter there. Uh, maybe like you noted, if they and, came here, they can't live. What happened when the Europeans came here? The Indians all got sick and died. So maybe it's something right. like that, either to make sure that your right. immune system is to where it needs right. to be to interact with the aliens, or to make but sure that he, you're not going to cause their immune systems to break down. So right. very interesting. And they do it. They do it even more brilliantly. Even when we go visit the most sick patient you can ever imagine, all we do is wash our hands and put a mask over us. They clean your esophagus, your lungs, your stomach, your anal, you know what I mean, everything. Wow. So that's like, well, so that's like, that's, that's, to me, that's incredible brilliance. Yeah. Well, I'd imagine you're in deep space travel. There's not much margin for error there, I would, I would have to no. say. I'm, I'm sure that they're I'm well sure. experienced. They've probably been through the trial and error of that, so right. they've learned. We've got to do this. Um, a last right. piece about uh, the gel was that it is fully edible and uh, would su sustain life or even suspend it. You felt many of these humans may have been uh, in this pool for years. Um, maybe they were more contaminated. Maybe uh, there's something in your mind that you have to get over or some sort of point you have to reach, uh, which maybe even leads me into a, a point that I'm going to get to where they're, they're calling you a prophet. We'll get to that later. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe the quickness in which you were able to be released from the gel uh, blew their mind was one thing that I thought of. Um, but to, not to jump topics here, uh, the alien told you, uh, we could not have this, uh, or uh, we would be we would be imprisoning each other. That was also interesting to me, because this brings up a movie in my mind, Demolition Man, where they use the cryogenic freezing as uh, kind of prisons. That that's kind of what I envisioned, I suppose, is what I wanted to put out there. Um, they also in the movie The Matrix uh, had the gel that they were suspended in. Not to turn this into a movie sort of scene, I'm just noting that you know this is some sort of preconceived uh, idea or notion, um, you know, as far as. 
Uh, him, uh, you know, I, I don't really know where yeah. I was going. I just, I, that's the relations that I made. It was interesting. Um, you, uh, 